So Troy, welcome to Lampkin. <laughs> well, I'm so excited to be part of the team. I'm, I'm excited to have you too. <laughs> so, you know, we talked earlier about how you were playing cross lines before. Yeah. And now we've got you into the new sonar tour and the calibrate grip. So tell me what you think between when you were playing cross lines and, and the changes you're feeling, yeah. what you're feeling in your grip when you go to the calibrate grip. Um, well, I've always been really particular about my feel and like putting my hands on the grip and I've never actually used a rip before or, mm -hmm. and it's really changed the game. Like I know where the base is at all times now and I think that's huge coming from long drive where I have a really strong grip. Mm -hmm. um, now with my irons, I just feel so much more control. Right, right. And again, from, from going from a round grip to a reminder grip, yeah. I think for when, when you say you can feel the club in your hand and in your swing, what does that really mean for someone that's out there feeling the club of how that grip allows you to know where the club is in your golf swing? I think a lot of mistakes, even you know, good players, we all tend to look up to see where the shot's going. Mm -hmm. um, so for any player now, you kind of know like if it sits in your fingers in the right way you know that you're you're square and mm -hmm. you can feel square at the top of your swing through impact and even after impact with the calibrate grip you're not only going to be able to orientate your hands the mm -hmm. way you want to in the clock every time but it also is going to help you with the short game because you're going to be able to have that feel that touch that confidence yeah. that you're going to be able to hit the shot you want to hit when it comes time to hit that shot exactly you so know, like yeah exactly so for my short game it's almost completely changed since i've put on a rib just like just to know that like right and my chip, that right hand is coming through perfectly square or I can hold it off and know I'm gonna get, you know, that check. Right, right. When we're out there playing, you know, when you're on the range and you're playing and you get to retee another one, right? Yep. But when you're on the, on, the, on the course and you're playing in a match or you're playing for score, you only get to hit it once. Exactly. So the confidence in the grip is really important. It's and huge. we always talk about this as being the only connection to the golf club. And I think that for professionals like yourself, it's really important that, that everyone listening to us and seeing us today understands that the grip is the only connection to the golf club and it should be taken seriously as you would with your shaft yeah. or the loft on your driver or your lie angles. The grip is just as important. Would you agree with that? I agree. I think a lot of people think, you know, it's the club that's doing the thing. And the first lesson that a lot of people have is they go 10 fingers. And I don't know why teachers don't immediately teach people that this is, you know, the right grip and to get clubs that will teach you where it is. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think that's so important just for confidence, for beginners, for you know pros even. We've been able to design the grip where it allows us to get a more pronounced reminder core. So for those players that really like this technology, they can really feel it in their hands. Right. Feel all the feels, right? right? So that's where <laughs> we're going. I love it.